In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can create a Spring 4 MVC application in Eclipse. So we will use the Maven IDE to create the project and then import in the Eclipse IDE. So here we are going to use the archetype is Maven, archetype web app and the group ID is Netter Frozen India and the artifact ID is Spring for MVC. So let's copy these lines and go to the directory where you want to create the project. So in my case it is d colon slash eclipse slash project slash spring for MVC and then paste the lines these command now it's generating the project so let's wait and build is successful and it generated the project so after this you have to go to the spring cd project directory and here you can see the spring project well now we'll copy these lines and then paste here now you should create the project for the eclipse so it is created the project for eclipse so here is the project these are the clips configuration file so we'll copy the url of this uh, project and then go to the eclipse file then import and existing maven project then we'll paste the directory name and simply click on finish okay so it's created the project here sorry imported the project here and uh, we'll first of all we'll try to run on the tomcat server so run as on the server next and then click finish and just add it remove the previous project So it's deployed the project and uh, this message is displayed. So now we'll uh, stop the Tomcat server and start adding the Spring specific uh, code. Now we'll start adding the required files uh, for making the Spring MVC example first of all we'll add this code into index.jsp file source then main web page index.jsp so here is a link for the hello world application and we are calling it hello world.html so i will explain you later on how this uh, hello world.html will call the spring mvc controller and then display the result so next is to uh, create a directory called java so under source source main then java directory source main and found 
So right click and then create new folder Java. Next we will create a folder called net. Then Rose India and under that we'll create a directory called controllers. Controllers. After this, uh, after creating the creating the directory, we'll add the Spring specific imports. Oh, sorry, spe Spring specific spe Spring uh, dependencies. So we have we'll first create a property for a spring and then the add these into the dependencies dependencies and we can also modify the build. So this is the code for the build and we can just remove it. So our now we'll just now we'll close the eclipse. And go to this directory. Here are project resides. And then run this command and when eclipse call an eclipse. So basically our CD. So basically this will add the So this will add the Maven library into the Eclipse project So let's start the Eclipse So if you see this library here you will find the uh, spring libraries added to them. The source directory is also included in the project. Now we'll create a controller class. So just right click new. Class. And we will name it as the hello world controller for Java. So first of all, we will have to just specify the package, which was, which is this, and then. The name of the class, which is hello controller. Then so it is added here. Now we'll add these code to the file. So this is our controller and here we have uh, defined the use the controller annotation and here it is request mapping which is hello world.html so 
this uh, method will be called hello world method will be called once uh, when when the user clicks on the on this link on this link hello world link now controller is ready will uh, add the dispatcher servlet in the web inf directory and so under web inf just right click and add new other and then select xml file from here this is the name of desktop xml file then finish and we'll copy the all the code from this XML file. So here uh, we are scanning the net dot rosendia dot controllers package to find the controllers. So it will scan the this uh, net dot rosendia dot controllers package and it will configure this as a controller. Next is to uh, add the entry into the web.xml file. So here we are adding this uh, entry web.xml file and we can just so here we are defining a dispatcher sublet and the servlet mapping is for the start.html so all the requests will be handled by this controller so we have web.xml file ready dispatcher servlet ready index.csp is ready and if you use see this uh, hello world it is returning the hello world.jsp so basically it is using hello world.jsp for creating the view for this we have defined the directory here that is webinf slash views so we'll create a new directory called uh, views under webinf new folder yeah views and under views uh, we'll create a file we'll create a jsp please So we'll get a JSP hello world dot JSP and the view style. So file new then JSP next let's finish it and copy the code from here. So we are almost done with the project and uh, let's before we can execute the project on Tomcat will have to go to the properties then deployment assembly add then java click next and select all these jar files and then finish so these all jar files are now included in the so all these jar files will be included to run the application or Tomcat server. So now re just right click it and then run as run on source as Tomcat server. Then click next and we'll remove this application and the spring image is there. Then finish. So dispatcher service is initialized and if you see the console it is showing that this load from this uh, dispatcher server.xml and if you click here it is showing hello world spring 4. So uh, I explained you how to create a project in uh, 
maven and then import into the eclipse id add this uh, required dependencies in the spring pom.xml file and finally run it on the tomcat server now i'll explain you how you can create the war file from here so you just select the project then run as maven build and here you just have to type package so it will create the build war file from here so it is created the war file for us so you can copy it in, into copy this spring.war file on tomcat and deploy there and we have tutorials on hibernate struts xml spring java testing frameworks databases ajax then php and technological articles java server faces so we have almost uh, all the major programming tutorials here so visit our website and check these tutorials also subscribe our video channel thanks for watching the video